everyone this is namesh welcome back to my channel we are going to react to love aajkal 2 this is the movie starring karthik aryan sara ali khan directed by imtiaz ali imtiaz ali's last film jab harry met sejal the big project with shahrukh khan was not that successful therefore we have to see how he is going to come back with this movie and hopefully give us something special again so let's see let's watch the trailer and then see uh, what we can expect from this movie here we go with the trailer of love aaj kal 2 what that is going on huh chal kya raha hai tumhare stupid bloody mind mein tum mujhe reject karte ho you refuse to sleep with me aur tab se aise mera picha kar rahe ho tum aise hi koi bhi ladki nahi ho kaise explain karu ki tum special ho ye bhi main batao to tum kya karoge नहीं मतलब हाँ बताओ मतलब क्यों पीछा कर रहे हो तुम मेरा मैं आज के बाद आपका पीछा नहीं करूँ मैंने कहा तुम्हें तुम मेरा पीछा मत करो नहीं तो फिर सो ही हैज़ द सेम कैरेक्टर इन बोथ टाइम पीरियड्स पीरियड हूँ आपके बारे में जीवन के आखिरी दिन तक रहूंगा आपके साथ बातें तो फोन पे भी हो सकती थी ना चलो अभी भाग चलते हैं। हटो यहाँ से। अरे 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 � शब्द क्या निकला मुंह से माधर वुड यू लाइक टू ब्रेक डांस डांस तो एक चीज जो तुम्हें मालूम है तुम कभी नहीं करोगे एक दिन तुम कर भी देते हो जस्ट लाइक दैट शो भी हम सॉर्ट आउट कर लेंगे ये सॉर्ट आउट नहीं होगा अभी क्या हो गया सोई मुझे तंग करने लगे ये क्या एक्टिंग है नहीं कर पाऊंगी कॉम्प्रोमाइज रिलेशनशिप किसी के साथ भी कर लूंगा लेकिन तुम्हारे साथ ही करूंगा मुझे फुल चाहिए अंदर वाली बाहर वाली 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 बाहर करियर फुल आई थिंक आर डन प्रीटी गुड जॉब तो आना ही मत सिनेमाटोग्राफी यू नो द ग्रैंडियर ऑफ द फिल्म द ग्लैम ऑफ द फिल्म uh the the some beautiful shots in there beautiful locations in there if you watch the trailer carefully um beautiful set pieces and so it looks like a very um uh, high budget film you know with a lot of good technicals associated with it the music obviously is the music of love aajkal which is absolutely fantastic super successful it is back here and they are using it here to keep the sort of pulse of the movie which is really something that i enjoyed while watching the trailer it was it was fun to hear that music again for another film with new characters i do think that in the couple of emotional scenes in the trailer karthik aryan has done a good job and in general he looks very natural um this might be um a most subdued performance of his as opposed to his other more loud sort of performances that he's done and sort of over the top performances that he's done in the past so i think this is uh, more subdued and natural and i think in the emotional scenes he's definitely done a good job um i i also think that arushi you know i'm excited to see how she performs in that character and sara ali khan in the trailer does in some of the emotional scenes seems like she falters a bit not sure about those scenes but maybe in the movie they might come out smoothly um it's not that it's absolutely bad it's just didn't hit the mark as you say didn't hit the sweet spot um but nevertheless i think this is something that after you know love stories have not been working in bollywood and i think that 
this is something that at least because of the brand love Aajkal, because of the casting and the pairing the director it generates some kind of interest so it might be something that i will watch and feel like watching or even consider watching as opposed to many of the love stories in the recent two or three years that you don't even end up watching or have no interest to watch because you know exactly what is going to be so this will be interesting the other interesting point is that i'm not sure how the Aj and the Kal are too different because 1990 versus 2020 a lot of us were born in the 1990s or late 1980s we are all still here and if you think of it culturally there's no change between then and now so much you know there's a social media culture there's a technology culture there's an online internet culture all those kind of things are there you know come everything has been improved on the technical front in terms of our lifespan from 1990 to 2020 in India but Culturally speaking, in terms of how society is, it's not that different. Fashion is different, clothes are different, maybe the music, you know, here and there is different. But other than that, you know, it's not that striking of a culture to culture difference between then and now. So it will be interesting to see how Imtiaz Ali portrays the two cultures and the two time periods differently and how he contrasts it other than the color contrast that he has used for the two periods. The other question or sort of... Uh, you know, a thought that I had is even in the last love article, the the cull cull story <laughs> was very powerful. You know, with Saif in a turban and things like that. But however, the actress that they had selected, she was not a known face, and she didn't really shine or stand out. She did a good natural subdued performance, but she didn't stand out in that sense. And it wasn't a casting. The main casting was of Saif and Deepika. And over here as well, the main casting of Kar Karthik Aryan and Sara in the Aj, but in the Kal, they've taken a, a new face a sort of a thing. So it automatically tips the balance. And I have no problem in that, in the, in, in the fact that new people are taken. But I think that the balance is off where there are two stars in the Aj story and only one star in the Kal story. It doesn't... It could have been better, you know, if there were two actresses that were equally known or equally well known or equally good performers or both were new, you know, that kind of a balance wherein you don't know what the story is and how it's contrasting. That would have been more interesting. Otherwise, it it makes the Sara Ali Khan story the focus of the film and the other one just like a subplot. So that is something that they could have changed in this movie, which they did not. But let us see how this film fares. It you know, there are fans of Karthik Aryan, fans of Sarah Ali Khan, fans of Imtiaz Ali, fans of the original Love Arch Girl. A lot of fan base already for this movie. Um, so we shall see how this film fares. Um, it is all up to the final cut that we watch in the theater and how the audience responds to a love story in 2020. I hope you like this trailer reaction and review. Like, comment, share, subscribe and keep watching for more.